Computer scientist Danny Hillis built the world's fastest computer in 1996, the Connection Machine. Today, with visionary author Stuart Brand, he's building the world's slowest computer, a clock designed to keep time for 10,000 years. In a society driven by the accelerating pace of technological change, the short-term profit motive of the market economy, and the next election preoccupation of politicians, some say we have become too short-sighted. I went from trying to build supercomputers and, and making things that were really the fastest machines in the world to feeling that everything I was concentrating on was getting faster, 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 and I needed a part of my life to step back and concentrate on slower for a while. I think we have a sense these days that not just technology is accelerating, history is accelerating. We're so busy keeping up with the present that I think we lose track of the long-term issues of the future. This is a story about time and responsibility and a project designed to encourage people to think beyond the psychological barrier of the millennium and into the future. The clock of the long now is both a myth and a mechanism. One great thing about a clock is that it doesn't accelerate. One hour is exactly the same as the next. That's kind of reassuring. And clocks are familiar tools. They've been giving order to civilization since the 14th century. But where most clocks are about minutes and hours, this clock is about centuries and millennia. The clock of the long now is intended to last 10,000 years. It will keep time on a vastly expanded scale. The clock ticks once a day, the bongs once a year, and the cuckoo comes out of the millennium. Danny Hillis has devised the mechanical design of the clock. I'm used to designing things out of electronics, so that would have been the easiest, but there's no way electronics could last 10,000 years. Its works consist of an ingenious binary mechanical system that has precision equal to one day in 20,000 years. It self-corrects by phase locking to the noon sun. In some sense, it's the largest mechanical computer that was ever built, certainly the slowest. The clock is intended to be an engineering artifact that inspires awe and fascination on the scale of Stonehenge. From its site in the Nevada desert, the device will help us appreciate the world's slow rhythms of change. This clock is meant to be big enough so you can wander through it. You can climb up through the mechanical works to its display, where you see 10,000 years of centuries to come. And the clock should be inside a mountain, so when you come out, you literally have the long view. Like a living time capsule, the clock's construction will educate the future about us. The pendulum is designed to swing in one second or half second increments. So future archaeologists can deduce our fundamental unit of time. And the facility will contain a library housing cultural and environmental data of lasting importance. Footprints left behind us in the sand. Long-term responsibility preserves options for the future, maintains an underlying basis of long-term continuity and stability. So we feel safe to explore and invent as wildly as we want. Responsibility gives the future tools to help itself. Taking a global digital journey. Together, we're the dot in dot com.